What is going on guys? It is 7.40 this morning. Um, chemo day number two, cycle two. Um, excited to get this show on the road. Um, feel a lot better than I did the first cycle. Uh, so that is always, always, always a plus. Um, they've told me that a lot of people, um, it really just depends on how you just are genetically and mentally and, and that will determine a lot of the effects the chemo will have on you. But for me personally, um, cycle two, day one. Uh, has gone a lot better. Um, I was able to eat after treatment. I ate. Um, Mom didn't want to cook, so we got Panera last night. Um, and I ate, uh, what did I eat? A whole grilled cheese, and then a medium mac and cheese, and then one of those smoothies. So we... Um, we got a good amount of food in, so, but now I'm going to take the pills and I will show you guys that here momentarily. So I'm just getting all the pills and such to show you guys what, what it is you got to take, what's going on. Um, I took a video last night to show you guys what I took last night to go to bed and stuff. Um, so I'll throw that in at some point. Oh, damn, sorry. Just to show you guys what's going on with that. And yeah. Okay, what's up guys? So on chemo days, um, this is what you can kind of expect your sorry my cat is going crazy in the background um this is kind of what you can expect like pill wise um you got a whole a whole mess of pills so you got all of these i don't know if you guys can see it, all of them but so you got just like your tylenol your Tylenol, this is um, prednisone, it's a steroid. You have the stomach protector you take with prednisone. This is for nausea, uh, like a stool softener, and then for allergies. Um, so during uh, days of chemo, that's kind of what you can expect. And it's not, you know, you get kind of used to it, just popping them by the handful. So it's not that bad. But yeah, so that's kind of what you can expect on your days where you take, um, your actual chemo in the hospital. Um, yeah, I mean, those are like, I mean, that's really all that I wanted to check in and tell you guys about. Um, so you can see the pill counters all, all fun. So, but everything's good tonight. Um, this is the night of day one of cycle two so i'll probably i don't know when i'll what video i'll throw this in but i'll probably throw it in tomorrow's video um just show you guys kind of what you could expect to take um on days of chemo and yeah i mean that's all i want to tell you guys i'll Talk to you later and uh, good night.
Okay, what's up guys? I have teleported to my room with the uh, pills and such. So I'll just run through the quick, how many do I take? One, two, three, four. I take six pills total, but five, cause there's two. So we have the two, my steroid for my immune system the prednisone this is just a stool softener um this one's for vomit or nausea and then this one's for allergies because i've never had a problem with allergies but um once i started taking or like getting on chemo my my allergies just don't stop like I've never, never, ever, ever, ever had a problem with them, but I've, I mean, I've barely even had allergies until chemo, but this is one of those things that kind of just popped up. And then this one is a stomach protector that you have to take with the prednisone because it'll like eat through your stomach or something. Fun stuff, fun stuff. So. Also, I recommend um, if anyone out there is going through treatment or if you feel like you struggle to drink enough water, get like these gallons and you can refill them. Personally, I can't drink my home's water because we have well water and we haven't gotten it tested in a while. So they don't want me to um, run the risk of there being something in the water. Um, so my family is being generous enough to buy me these gallon jugs and uh, we just started getting shipments of those like five gallon bottles you put in the little water machine. Um, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, um, but I'll throw a picture up on screen right now of what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, we've been getting those and super nice, but this, the gallon, I mean, it helps you track how much water you're drinking. Um, this is not, I have not drinking three fourths of a gallon today at eight in the morning or whatever time it may be now. But um, that's from yesterday. I probably got, I probably got close to a gallon because I drank a bunch of water at actual chemo and in the hospital and they gave me a bunch of fluids too. Um, Cause if you don't get fluids with them, some people struggle to drink water. Uh, so I think that's why. And they also pump you with the fluids just to make sure like it gets going throughout your system. Uh, so yeah, that is a good little tip that I've learned. Um, helps you stay on top of that. Cause um, Water is important. You definitely, you, you know the days when you don't drink enough water, you really feel shriveled up. Like it's not fun. Um, so making sure you get, I mean, I don't know how much you're supposed to drink, but I just shoot for a gallon a day. Um, so I don't know how much everyone out there is supposed to drink. I assume it's somewhere near half a gallon. If I had to assume, since we are 90% water or something crazy like that, I might have just sound like a total dumbass, but yeah, we're up there in water. So make sure you drink your water. It's important. Don't, don't let me be drinking more water than you. So but yeah, we're going to smash these pills and then we're going to go eat something. And then we need to be at chemo around nine. Um, the more you get into it um, on days when you don't have to go meet, at least at Hopkins, um, in the pediatrics, because I'm only 20. So they took me in with all the little kids and not everyone's little. There's a lot of people my age. And I actually met one guy in there that's, he just finished his last um, immune therapy. Um, so, and he is done. He just needs to, uh, I think he went into remission 
or whatever the whatever it's called when you're kind of just like on call to make sure everything's okay getting scans and stuff afterwards he um he actually went to a similar boarding school near me and we wrestled at the same time and not the same weight class he's a lot um bigger than i was at that time so but that was i mean that was awesome to see that small world one and um he made it through and his his was twice as long as mine. mine's 15 weeks total i think his was like 30 and then plus the immune stuff for him so i mean that was awesome to see and it's awesome to see when those little kids are in there i mean it's so sad but it's so motivational at the same time to see that you know you're not alone and um they can do it or i mean they're trying to do it and you know that's all you really can do and it's a really shitty thing guys but trying to make the best of it but we're gonna smash these pills now and then we're gonna go eat Damn, usually I can get those in one one go, but I had a little either the nausea or the allergies one did not want to go down right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Asshole ass pills, man. But um also I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. We'll just this is a good time too since I don't have a shirt on and stuff. But, um, this is the port. You can see I got a little Dora sticker yesterday. You can see the bump kind of right in there. Um, this scar, I'll show you guys at some point. It looks awesome. Uh, and then this is gonna be like a little scar too, but, um, so that's where the port went in. And then the port, um, a lot of people get it on this side of their chest. This is my right side over here. Um, a lot of people get it on this side, but my bump and stuff was on this right side. So they run stuff up here and that would have affected, um, like this would have been in the way. Um, but I can feel like you can't see it. I don't think maybe you can see it. it if you can, it's this like line right here. Like you can kind of see it sticking out right down through there, but that runs all the way to my heart, um, one of my major, um, like, lines where blood is pumped out, so it's, um, pumped to my heart, or to one of the four major, um, oh my goodness, I'm a bio major transfer to PT, I should probably know the heart, but there's, like, four major veins, and they, pump blood or two of them pump blood out two of them pump blood in i think i'm don't quote me on that i have no idea what i'm saying so do not quote me on that but it runs in i know it goes to one of the veins that pump blood outwards um so they put that thing in me that i showed you guys yesterday i'll show you guys it today the my port they stab into my port and then pump the chemo in and then it gets pumped throughout my body but um overall super excited to get day two going we have one less chemo so it should be about 30 minutes to an hour shorter um and then once i think it's doxorubicin is that red devil i was telling you guys about um today's my last day of that <laughs> So super excited. I know that one, that one I know like messes me up, at least mentally it does. Cause I know all the, I think you get that one for a lot of breast cancers too. And that one is a horrible, horrible, horrible drug for you. And there's a lot of long lasting side effects with that. Maybe I'll make a video on that just to, at some point, a video of all the side effects and me going through all the chemos and stuff just to get that information out there because you might not know you might not want to know but 
think if you're going through this, you know, personally, I like to know everything. Like, what what do these chemos will have the small chance to cause cancer in the future or cause, cause me heart problems like that red devil? Um, so, I just like to know. I mean, might not be the best, but, you know, I like to know what's going on with me, so... Uh, I like to have as much control as I can of my actual body, but hair, I mean, you guys can see the hairline. It's still, the baby, you guys can't even, oh, you can, a little bit. I don't know if it'll show up on the video, but you can kind of see the baby hairs, but yeah, I've been rambling on for 11 minutes now, so I will talk to you guys, not in the car, that was a lie. I will probably never talk to you guys in the car with my parents. Today it's just my dad. My mom and younger brother are going to go visit Elon today. Because um, he is a senior in high school now. Um, so that's awesome. That's kind of close to where I'm going to college. So super duper exciting for them. And... Seeing that little little kid kick button in school is really awesome. So super excited for them. Um, chemo should be shorter today. Um, probably be in there till three if I had to guess. Depend. I mean, it just depends on how long it takes the chemo to get made. But yeah. So I will see you guys in the hospital. Peace. Okay. What is going on, guys? We are back in the hospital. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Personally, I got a little chemo going. Dad's, Dad's in the background there watching Suits, I believe. Um, so yeah, we got the machine all hooked up. Just got done with, um, yeah, I don't even know which chemo I just finished. I just, they just pumped me with it, I'll be honest, so. Me have no idea, but I'll show you guys today. It's um not red this time. It's uh because I'm getting a different chemo, but it's still the same thing. It always looks the same with that thing in your chest. But um yeah, I want to say thank you guys for all the overwhelming support and love on the videos and um all you guys are commenting are super awesome, super nice and thank you guys for sharing your stuff as well it really means a lot and helps me make make me feel not as alone through this whole process um so it's super nice of you guys um but yeah overall not too bad um today's going pretty good I feel feeling good uh you know not bad at all i think and I'm sorry about the yawning and stuff recently. It's been, you know, this this stuff makes you pretty tired. Or maybe I'm not sleeping good from this stuff, but um Yeah. No, overall not bad. Um I think we're it is currently eleven uh twenty on the dot. So we're doing pretty good on time and stuff. I think I got my Doxa something, the red one. I got that, I got fluids, and then you guys can see uh, all those chemos over there. I think I got one or two more. I got hot dog with me still. The boy's always chilling. Um, so yeah, I mean, super super excited to keep this stuff going um each day i get closer to this pet scan that will determine a whole lot about my treatment so that's pretty awesome super excited for that hopes to hear that everything is going well because you know i feel good but i guess you never really know 
So excited that each day I get closer to that. Uh, you know, grateful to still be alive, still grateful to be feeling a lot better than the first cycle. I mean, that's, it's not even, not even close how much better I feel. Um, the only thing I've been struggling with is like knowing that I'll go back to that feeling of like not feeling as good. So that's like the only not fun thing that we've had to deal with. But other than that, no real symptoms of anything. No, no headaches, no, not really any nausea, maybe a little bit, but like it's zero right now. Um, appetite's good. I can eat, um, not right after chemo. I have to give it a little while, but like right now I'm hungry. Or like not hungry, but I can eat. Uh, what else? What else? I don't know if there's anything else. I'm just in the hospital. Um, yeah, so I'll get through this and then I will check in with you guys when I'm home. Peace. Okay, what is up, guys? Um, we are home now. Uh, got my pretty little bracelet on. Chemo is all done. Update on the Band-Aid. Oh, I actually have big news. One, we got a cool Band-Aid. And two, the scar came off. Or the thing came off. So that's what my scar looks like for the port. And then I got the dog shark, I think it is. Band-Aid. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Um, But guys, I'm feeling good. I mean, I just ate a bunch of food so that's i got home right at three which i think earlier in this video i said i would be home by three or done by three um so yeah i'm getting good at this whole chemo thing i suppose but yeah i feel good um the food helped uh overall no no real problems um with anything um and yeah i mean Day, our chemo day number two, cycle two, in the books. So, hope everyone is having a great day. I said it earlier, but again, thank you guys for the overwhelming love and support on the last video and some of the other ones. Um, but especially on the last video, you guys are commenting a bunch of super nice stuff, and some of you are sharing your stories and experiences, and that's awesome. And just want to say, um, anyone that's going through any sort of cancer thing, you guys are so much stronger than I could ever be. Um, it is a incredibly, incredibly difficult thing, um, and you guys are you guys are awesome. And anyone that is not going through any sort of cancer thing and is just watching, you guys are also awesome. Um, but I gotta hold my fellow cancer people to a different level because for those of you that have gone through it you know, uh, you know we're we're grinding and you know it's a hard thing to work through but gotta do what we gotta do so but i love all you guys you guys mean so much to me and i want to really thank you for all the nice things so grateful um that people have seen these videos and are enjoying um, just me talking about a whole bunch of nonsense. Um, but hopefully, now this is no promise, but hopefully we'll get some gym videos coming back soon. Because I am feeling very good. Now tomorrow is going to be a short chemo, so there's a potential that I will be in the gym tomorrow. But don't hold me to that. Don't hold me to that. I think chemo tomorrow is at 11, so I'm going to get a good amount of sleep. Um, these windows are going to get closed, so hopefully no sunlight gets in this room, uh, tomorrow morning. And I sleep in. Um, I've been doing a lot of lavender. Lavender, shout out Corey's mom. Uh, Corey, for those of you who don't know, was in the last video. One of the last videos, one of these recent videos. Um, his mom, uh, knows some ladies that had breast cancer. Uh, shout out to them awesome women i personally don't know them but i know they're awesome um 
and they said that lavender is something I should look into for sleep and I've been rubbing it on my the palms of my hand and the palms of my feet before bed um, I also have this little diffuser right here also shout out the Xbox that thing is keeping me through sane through this whole damn thing um, but lavender in the diffuser and on my feet and hands and then another game changer this doesn't work for forever but melatonin um yes melatonin it will put you to sleep uh it has helped me sleep i've never been too good at sleeping um i've had sleep apnea i've always had I don't know if I would call it anxiety or something, but I just can't turn my mind off at night. Um, so I've always struggled with that. And um, as I've gotten older, I can't put this goddamn phone down at night. So the blue light does not help. So, but melatonin does. And the cancer also doesn't help, but melatonin does. Uh, the lavender also helps. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all. Um, again, feeling good. Feeling good, looking good, doing good. So, cannot complain. Uh, I think now I'm just gonna hang out, play Xbox, wait for my mom and brother to get home um, from that college tour and, and see them and ask them how that went. But until then, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out, everyone. Stay safe. Have a great day. See ya.